If I was told, hey, this time in two years, you will be living in Tasmania, I would have said, ah, uh, good one. Absolutely not. Oh I'm ready. I'm ready for my new adventure. It's all happening really fast and I'm so excited, but I can't wait and I can't wait to bring you with me. I was born in Perth in WA, but I grew up in Tasmania, so I consider myself Tasmanian. And I haven't lived in Tasmania since 2000 and well, up until the end of 2007, start of 2008. So it's been 15 years. Oh, I need to fix my hair. I don't like it. Just the fact that I am doing this is a huge thing. It's a huge thing to move anyway. So I, I'm used to moving, relocating, and all that sort of thing. It doesn't make it any easier. I just miss being close to my family. So anyway, I can't tell anyone yet because I haven't resigned. I've had to give four weeks notice. So I've got four weeks to officially pack everything, move, and then figure it out. <laughs> I'm going to document as much as I can of moving. I feel like maybe there's a market for that. People are interested in moving, relocating to Tasmania. I'm moving to Launceston or Lonnie as the locals refer to it and by locals I mean all Tasmanians. I am doing it. I moved to Melbourne in 2008 at the start of so a lot has changed in Tassie since I last lived there so big news huge life change don't really want to pack can't be bothered doing any of that shit <laughs> all my free time will be spent packing I have a lot to pack I obviously I've been living elsewhere for 15 years. I moved out of home when I was 19, I moved to Melbourne, then I moved to Sydney, then I moved to London, then I moved to Sydney, and now here we are. Not sure if it's a good decision based on me trying to find my partner in life, trying to meet someone, maybe it is the best decision. It's not like I've been trying that hard anyway to meet someone here. <sighs> I'm just thinking about what I have to do. How do I move my cats? How do I move my car? How do I, what do I do? So I'm moving without knowing where I'm living. So I have to sort that out once I'm there. So that'll be interesting. Even just looking for somewhere to live. I'm gonna rent and then eventually I will look at buying something. And that's the other positive about moving to Tassie is house prices are cheaper, even with renting. The equivalent to what I pay for this two bedroom house with an attic, I could have a four bedroom home or five with three living spaces and a garage and maybe a bit more land. It's nuts, absolutely mental. Anywho, how exciting. Yeah, shit. It's all happening pretty quickly. I have a lot upstairs, like hopefully I can get rid of some stuff as well in the process because one thing I've learned is instead of packing and moving shit, get rid of it before you move because then obviously you've got less to move. Well, duh. Whatever's following this footage will be probably me packing. <laughs> Anywho, what are you gonna miss, Fluffy? I can't wait to have more space. I can't wait to be able to see my mum on a weekend if I want to, or have her stay, or see my sister and my nephews and my brother-in-law. I'm ready for the next chapter in my life. Next time you see me, I probably won't look this put together. <laughs> Bye. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it. State of things god's sake i am just up in the attic not packing going through 
everything, what I'm keeping and what I'm throwing. This is the second time that I'll be doing this exercise. And believe me, it's exercise. Maybe. Anyway, oh, still a lot of stuff up here. It's kind of organized chaos. I know where everything is. I'm actually being very ruthless. I'm very proud of it. Hey, no, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Maybe there's a cockroach. Don't you dare jump up there. You'll knock something off. Cute. Ah, <sighs> uh, what was I saying? Been very ruthless. I don't like keeping a lot of stuff, but because I had the space, it just piles up. It's the start of June, it's like the 3rd or 4th, 4th of June, so I've got two more weekends left. Uh, Look at all the rubbish that I've just gotten rid of. All there. And that's the first load of one I did last weekend. I think it was, no, two weekends ago. But anyway, this is just what I have up here. <laughs> and there's everything I've got downstairs. Which is not as much, I don't think. I'm actually going to get my removalists from Kent to help me pack up here. <laughs> I swore next time I moved house, I would pay for them to move a uh, pack for me. It's like the cheapest part of the whole process. I do have a week free, but it's not really free. It's actually full of stuff. And the, the last week of my four weeks notice, I'm actually like moving, like things are happening every day. Like the cat's getting picked up, handyman coming to dismantle stuff, my garage door motor's getting dismantled, cleaner, the removalist, the removalist backpacking, handing the keys back. Like every day there's like five, uh, the car's getting picked up, there's like four or five things happening each day on my last week here. Mum's coming to help me, which is nice. Uh, we fly back on the Saturday, so literally in three weeks time I will be at her house in Tasmania. It's a lot to do in three not to mention I have to just pack all my own things that I'm packing. I'm not paying to be packed. Like all my clothing, I have to separate into two categories. What's going to storage potentially for six weeks or more, or maybe less, hopefully. And then I have to decide what to not put into storage and what to have on me, have with me. What are you doing? No. God. It's like a playground up here for them. I'm just kind of doing things in segments at the moment. Hey Fluffy, come on, usually you fly up here, not today, hey, come on, come on. What are we doing? We're moving. Going to miss that spot. No. <laughs> that <was a> fail. <laughs> Something's going on. Everything is everywhere. My stuff I can take with me. Pack those. This is getting dismantled today. Hmm. What do you think, Fluffy? Something's going on and I'm not sure what. We're going to the kennel cattery tomorrow. It's mum. Right. Mrs. Fig's found a home. <sighs> going to a friend's house. Really wish I could take her with me. She's two metres tall. Hmm. Organised chaos, I think they call it. Rubbish. Um, that's it. Oh, oh hello. Hey. <laughs> oh.
rooms mainly my stuff to take except for this die <laughs> oh. that's good Yep. <sighs> oh, I just need to sit down. Uh, I'm going to do a little quick tour. It has been a fiasco, frantic. Just a lot more than what you think. Thankfully, Kent helped. But I had to do all my clothing and I did lots of cleaning out and there's a bit of sorting and throwing away so much rubbish. Just coordinating everything, the car that got picked up this morning, the cats went yesterday, they've gone to a boarding, like a pet hotel, they're flying with jet pets, and they're at Hanrob Pet Hotel for the week. And courier came today because I had to send stuff down because I didn't want to put, because everything's going in storage until I know where I'm living, <laughs> I'm staying with mum until then, and cats are staying with us so anyway had to send stuff down to mums ahead of us so it gets there when we're there and then we pick the cats up and then they'll have their automatic litter box is their water fountain their toys they like bedding they like so on and so forth so that went today the cleaners came early we had to send them away because the removalists had to move our uplift to a later time in the day Oh, it's just been a lot of moving parts. I will say that next time, if there ever is one moving into state, arrange for the cleaning. If you're going to have pay someone to do like bond cleaning, arrange for them to come in the day after you do any removal and sublift because it's kind of been a bit of a nightmare. And I'm giving the keys back tomorrow and doing an inspection. So it all would have been better if we'd moved everything a day a day back but anyway exhausted my feet hurt it's been a very busy week mum got here on friday so she's been here a week it's thursday it's just like i just need a massage i'm exhausted and i bet i look really tired yeah just thought i'd do a bit bit of a quick hello kent are amazing fantastic wouldn't go with anyone else can't recommend them enough they pack everything with care. They wrap everything. They don't put sticky tape around stuff. They put paper around it first. Like, they're just amazing. They're so good. Love Kent. And I'm not sponsored by them, obviously. <laughs> anyway, and it's good because they also take care of the pet transport, the car transport. They do offer cleaning, but I went with someone else. I just think also like the boxes, whatever you think you have, just double that number. This has just got a lamp shade in it and a lamp. So they box everything because it's just easier to transport. So that's the difference between like moving across town and moving into state. And these, everything's going into storage obviously, so it needs a little bit more protection, but like they box all the white goods. They don't just put it on the truck. So this is all getting loaded into a container and that container is going down to Melbourne on the toll ship over to Tassie off the toll ship onto a truck down to Hobart to go into storage and so whenever and however they load that container is how it stays so there's not double handling I think Kent's a bit better in my opinion because they literally just how, it pa how it's packed is how it's packed and then it stays like that until delivery so anyway this is the little courtyard I had. They're going to my friend Caitlin. And this is the lovely hallway, really high ceilings. This is my was my dressing room and office. So that's this room. This is my bedroom. Still haven't wrapped the bed, but they will.
So one thing that's really good is when you get them to do the packing for you they come the day before uplift and they prepare everything so you'll see in the next room and this should have been done but they ran out of time but they'll wrap everything the day before so when they rock up to move everything it just everything just kind of gets pulled into the the truck so there's not a lot of faffing about when they rock up they just sort of get into it and it's done so when they come if you pay for packing they come the day before they pack everything for you and then they sort of get everything else ready. So it's not just packing boxes. They wrap your couch, like that kind of thing happens. Good thing mum and I stayed in a hotel from last night. Yeah? I don't know what I'm thinking. What? I could be lying on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is my room. This is all that's in here. And this is the view from outside. I'm just doing a tour for YouTube. Oh. Not sure if anyone is watching, but if they are, this is my mum die. Hi. <laughs> just love plastic <laughs> This is the lounge room. Maybe I should do another run through when it's empty, just a really quick walk through. But this was like TV. There's the couch. So you can't do any chilling and relaxing after they've been here to pack. And then this is actually what's left that we didn't get to and they're coming to finish off the packing so I've got like some alcohol bottles and stuff in there what you see here is it coming with me going into storage and this is the laundry so that was on the wall yesterday or the other few days ago and this is the bathroom this is like original when you look at the photos look at that so because this is on a main road there are a lot of like cracks everywhere in the ceiling because the house shakes <laughs> so yeah this is my bathroom very small original flooring this is this house would be circa 1900 so a lot of storage here but when you see the original photos it's a bit interesting so this is been putting up with and then there's a lot of rubbish out here and I did have a carport out here because of this tree leaves that fall flowers that fall berries that fall and it's just going through obviously it's leaf falling phase I had a motor put on the garage door because it wouldn't lock but yes this is the back this has been an issue for the whole time and then that's it. This is a wet rental that it was pretty cheap when we moved in and it's gone up and they actually want nearly 900 a week for this. Can you believe? It's definitely not what I'm paying. But anyway, it's a shame it's um, the sun's not shining today because the sun that pours in is lovely and it's not doing it today. Left here, Fluffy. Gonna miss the sun? You 
going to miss the sun. The high ceilings. That's about it. <laughs> the cockroaches, all the rats, all the neighbours. So, all the noise. Did I mention the noise? If I didn't, I won't miss the noise. So we're just waiting now for the removalists to rock up and do their thing. And then the cleaners come in and clean and my friend's coming, Caitlin's coming to get the plants and then we can go home, go to the hotel, relax, come back tomorrow, do an inspection and the keys over and I'm going to take my shoes off for a second and go, fly back. I don't know why it's a novelty. <laughs> One of them is mum's.
Um, outside? I don't know. Friday, I mean it's Saturday of the week of moving, so I look as tired as I am. Mum's cleaning up. We had pizza with my sister, brother-in-law and nephews. And it's been a it's been a week. How exciting! <laughs> I'm just so tired, it's hard to illustrate how excited I am because of my tiredness but anyway yeah that's all <laughs> <laughs> 